So, um, how did you feel about Ellis's beard? Ellis Mays with a beard? It was awesome. It totally changed his whole look. And actually, he seemed to be, how would I say, more mature. Yes. Thank you. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've had it for a while. I haven't shaved since June 12th. So, I mean, at first, first I tried to trim it up a bit, keep it clean around the bottom, and then I realized, you know, that's really getting out of the spirit of, of what a beard's about, which is just pure, unbridled lumberjackness. I miss the beard. It was something to snuggle up to on cold, cold nights. Just being real and being out there, whether it's you know, on top of a mountain, flying an airplane, diving under the sea, slanging crack in the streets, this is what it's about. I really miss the beard. I mean, it was missing one crucial element, which was the mustache, but I guess you know, it was all right to settle halfway. I think it really helped Ellis blend in with the local Amish scenery, and uh, his red facial hair will greatly be missed. It, it brings you in touch with your truer self. <coughs> I mean, this beard's been a religious experience for me. Coming through adversity, people telling me they wanted me to shave it off, authority figures, people I respect, people I love, and then people telling me, no, no, keep going with it. And, and my, myself, my heart, the skull with the pylon on his head, told me to keep going. So, um, what, what do you think you're going to do after it's gone? I guess I'll, I'll have to, to move on. You know, you can look through the pictures, you can can relive the happy memories. See, I'm smiling right now because of it. But all things come to an end. As Dr. Seuss said, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. I'm going to miss it, though. This is a hard time for me, I'm sorry. I, I don't really know how much to say. I can't communicate what this really means to me. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Elsa's beard was like a young Rip Van Winkle. It was amazing.
Well, to be honest with you, it was pretty disturbing. I was very heavily offended by uh, by this. I don't even know what to call it. Just you can't even. It wasn't even like a legitimate beard. Like I'm pretty sure it was fake. It was red, and he has blonde hair. I honestly, it was disturbing. That's, that's all I can say. I'm I'm just happy that it's finally gone. It's like flushing your goldfish down the toilet. Only instead of a goldfish, it's like a person. So, um, how did you feel about Ellis's beard? You know... Ellis had a cool beard, it was really cool, it looked like Asheroth. I wish Ellis could sing, I love college, cause it looked like he was Asheroth. He looked like Asheroth, he looked like Asheroth, he looked like Asheroth. Honestly, I like the beard, and I think that beards at Mercersburg are taken far too seriously, and that we should have the freedom to uh, grow our facial hair like anyone else in the world. I know that there's this Spanish kid here, apparently has a medical waiver to have a beard. Maybe this is going to be like marijuana. Maybe we have to have medical waivers to have beards, just like some people in this country use medical waivers to smoke marijuana. It's just an idea, but I am for beards, and that's my input on it. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Well, that's beautiful. So, how do you guys feel about the beard? How did you, how did you feel when you first saw it? I didn't know who he was. I was like a completely different person. I could have walked right by him in the street and never known. You know that person you walk down the street with your mother with, and you hope to God he doesn't try to talk to you? That's who he was. And he tried to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs>